gonna fish at this rate. Come on. All right, y'all. About two years ago, I made a video on how to catch gar on both. I don't know if it was both in or if it was gar. It might have been both. I'm not sure, but it's been some time, and we're gonna do that again today. If y'all, if y'all don't know what a gar is, they're one of my favorite fish to catch. So if y'all stay tuned, we're gonna get into this video. Let's go catch them. All right, y'all, we have made it. We have made it walking down to the spot right now. Boy, I love this place. Just the scenery, water's pretty clear, and there's a lot of gar. It's terrible, but for most people, when you bring up gar, they just think trash fish. Same with carp and bowfin. It's, y'all, that's not true. In this video today, I'll explain to you guys and show you that gar are freaking awesome to catch. It's, and it's a species that hopefully you guys are gonna want to after this. Many people might not want to admit it, but every fish has a purpose, and you just gotta understand why, so. Let's head to the spot and I'm going to talk about it with y'all. Dude, that's insane. I left this probably about two months ago and a lot of people fish down here and I don't. It's, it's through here. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, y'all. First things first, we're going to go ahead and prep our gear. This rock's very uncomfortable to sit on. I don't want to bore y'all. I have other videos on my channel that explain this, but if you're new, I just want to explain super quick. You can use spinning rod. You can use bait cast. So I'm in the traffic. There's a lot of cars going by. Yeah, I'm using my bait cast just because it's just just preference is what I wanted to use today. Starting off, 17 pound main line. You got a barrel swivel. You can buy these bobbers at a gas station. You want a big bobber, and I'll explain to you guys why once we start casting out. Got some beads to protect it, some extra weights, another barrel swivel, another liter. And for a monthly box from Six Cents, we actually got something very unique, and that's why I wanted to come out here and try this for y'all. When you're fishing for gar, and like I said, we're trying to not explain so much, but I want to get out there at the same time. You got to have circle hooks. It's just what I like to use, and you guys will see why once we actually get bit. I'll explain a little bit more. They're sharp. They're wacky hooks, but just the way they've been in Six Cents, they have some pretty good stuff. So I just want to, get, I want to see how they react today on pretty much bass gear, but for the same purpose, I think we can we can get some gar on this. Gar, you're not using big pieces of bait, and that's one of the second most important things you need for these types of fish is fresh bait. So let's go ahead and snap to the clip of me doing that this morning. Down here at the pond, all we gotta do is get our bait now. It's not hard, little ultra light, tiny small little bluegill hook. You can use worms, anything you want. I use bread, my bluegill in this pond, they love it. It's your old Ziploc bag, so after you catch your bait, you can keep it from not going everywhere. Burst them out, get them fired up. Bluegill all react off of each other, so you get the meat in it, they're all gonna do it. For today's video, it really doesn't matter what size bait we catch, because we're gonna have to chop it up. So, there's one right there. And they're a little buddy. Five bluegill is a good number for today, so that's what we're going to shoot for. There's another. Bigger one. And number five. Fish for their sacrifice. And now we're back to the lake. Have y'all see what bait we're using, what gear you need to have, and the only reason why I'm, I'm doing a lot with these weights and these swivels because I have to get out there for distance. When I once I show you guys where we're fishing today, you'll see what I'm talking about. But normally you can you can free spool for gar. There's a lot of stuff you can do for them, but that's what I'm doing today. If we have some time. We'll pick up some other bass baits in here and we might chuck them around. But today's goal is gar. So let's get down there and let's get to it. Where we're fishing today is actually called a spillway off of a dam. We have some flowing water coming in and then we have a steady pool right here that leads further down to a smaller creek. Nobody told me about gar being here. It was a spot that I actually came to. One of the coolest things about these fish, both in and gar, is that if you actually sit still for a little bit, well, there's a big one out there. They actually have to come up and breathe air. Both of these fish are both been not really called prehistoric, but gar 100%. Both of these creatures have been around for a very long time. They have adapted to their their surroundings, so they actually have to breathe air. You can you could sit right here and actually watch the gar come up. About every 15 minutes they'll do it. This pocket right here has a lot of gar, so you'll see you'll see a lot of them in this video today. What we're gonna do, guys. I always bring a knife with me when I'm fishing for these fish because I normally have to use it to get it out of their mouth and also to chop up our bait. In the beginning, I said size wasn't gonna matter, and that's one of the third most important things about gar as long as until you start fishing for like alligator gar the most common species in north carolina are spotted in long nose and i've caught some pretty big ones i've caught a five and a half six footer but for most gar that you're going to catch y'all you don't need a big piece of bait the bigger the piece the longer it's going to take that fish to eat 
and the odds of you setting the hook and nothing being there is pretty, it's gonna happen. It's crazy to believe, but a, a six foot gar will eat that piece of bait right there. Now I'm explaining to you guys the behavior habits of what these fish do once they grab the bait, but for that to happen, we need to cast out. So let's get to it. Kind of hard, I got the camera. Okay, there was a small one that just hit right there. I'm not sure if that was in frame, but y'all just look behind me. It's a nice still day. You're gonna be able to see sometimes when the gar, they're gonna come, like I said, and grab some air. So just keep your eyes peeled for that. We're about to make our first cast. Told you guys what I'm using. I have my little piece of bait like that. Always make sure and use any type of cut bait when you stick the hook through. Make sure that there's no scales on the hook. It's gonna mess your penetration once you try to hook into a fish. Like I said, y'all, nobody nobody showed me this spot. I, nobody told me there was a bunch of gar down here. I had to kind of figure it out for myself. So for you guys watching this video, trying to compare it to one of y'all's spots, I have water flowing down. This just goes for any fishing in general. The fish are gonna stack facing up current, looking for bait to come down. It's also the shallow point, so there's gonna be some food there. What I'm gonna do with this bait is cast out and try to get it to as close as I can to that dam. It is around 92 degrees today. That's why I have a little bit longer leader. Guard do bite pretty much all day, but they're most active at night. So fishing at one o'clock isn't the ideal situation, but we're gonna make it work. Oh, Mr. Gar. A lot's going to happen once I put this rod down. I'm explaining to y'all what guard do. So what's going to happen is, that's why I try to explain to you guys about having a smaller piece of bait. Guard sees that, he's going to grab it. Guard, they're very aggressive, they're pack hunters. What's going to happen is, he's going to bite that, and he's going to run within 100 miles an hour. He might take that bobber over here, he might take it over there. Do not rush the hook set. You need to let these fish eat it for about a minute and a half. And you'll see in this video today, I'm probably going to set the hook around 30 times and we might catch three fish. That's just the way it is. If the gar's small, you got probably not a good chance to catch him. If he's bigger, the gar's going to probably get, he's going to try to put that bait down and start a little bit faster. Different tactics you can use while you're gar fishing. If the gar is running left, you want to set right, vice versa. So the hook kind of rolls into his mouth. They don't have much room to set the hook. Half of the time when you catch gar, He's only going to swallow the bait. That's the one bad thing about these fish. You're really not going to hook him in the mouth. So you're probably not going to get that hook back. I try my best every single time. Or just so much fun to catch y'all. Once we actually get one to hook up, I'm going to flip this camera on and y'all are going to see the action. Probably going to miss the hook set, but we'll see what happens. There's a big one right there. All right, Bobber just got hit. Back up and there it goes. All right, let's see what happens. You can normally tell by the runs of what they're doing. But they're just being weird today. He used a tiny, tiny piece for this bait, so he's got to have it. We're going to see what happens once this line gets tight. Come here, Mr. Gar. Oh, my God. Just kidding. Dude, these are not small. I mean it. These are... It is heavy, and it is not moving. And how I'm not getting a hook in them, it just sucks. And that's, that's the frustrating thing about gar, but once you actually get one, it is worth them. I'll show you guys the size bait I'm using. That's why I'm just kind of setting the hook fast and it's a little mangle now, but I mean, a, a four foot gar, he could stew, bite this bait and just barely hold on to it. I'm just having fun, just kind of testing my chances. Let's get it back out there. Let's see what happens. I don't know why, but the way we're getting bit, I just have a good feeling a big gar could be caught today. Spotted gar, they get short but fat, a good sized fish in that is around three foot. I think I'm getting bit again. Yep, I am. A long nose, like I said, I caught one that was six foot. A good one in here is around three and a half, four, and they get pretty wide too, and then we're down. All right, y'all, he's just holding it down. I never had one really do this to me. We're gonna see what happens. It's all the way over here. I don't have them. What do I have? I got something. There's got to be a turtle. I know, a little baby gar. We'll take him. Get up here, bud. Get a little jump at the end. It's a little baby. Normally not this calm. Let's just see if we can hold this guy up. Beautiful fish. That is our first gar. Try to get him in the frame. He's about a foot and a half long. Did not still think I had this guy, but look at his mouth. And all those two. They're just super cool fish. It's an honor to catch you, little guy. You're not the one I want. So I'm gonna set you back. He's tensing up, he's gonna flip. She gone. All right, we got something going on with the bobber. We had a massive splash. It took off and now something's still sitting there chomping on it. It's not really running like a gar. We're gonna see what happens. All right, back down. We're gonna give it to her. I got her. I got her. What is it, what is it, what is it? I don't think it's that big of a gar. Oh, she's not bad. Got some good little jumps. Come here, baby. That's a little guy, bigger than the first one. Now look at those jumps. 
Oh, and he just came off. Probably about six inches bigger than the last. Let's get back out there. We're back in it. Let's send her out. And we got a runner. Hubbard's down. It's not really moving. Let's see what's going on. Coming towards me, that's why. I got him. Don't come off. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Here's another little one. That's a little guy, man. What's going on today? Where's y'all's mama? Number three of the day with two that I pulled. Don't do it, don't do it. I told you you could feel them once trying to jump. It's not a bad fish, but they are not the big ones. Gorgeous fish though, don't do it. Let's throw him back. Oh, he's about to do it. No. All right, buddy, go ahead. Go back. Y'all yeah, just had to run into the truck. I'm always like this, I'm fine, I'm fine. But thank God my girlfriend packed me. It's a little, like a little pink cup. But it's a cold ass water and I'm like dying out here and I forgot that I had it. So I just went up there and drank some and I feel a lot better now. So we need to retie where our leader is very short. We can't, no, we can't roll with that. It's only, so I get it. From here to my hand, it's too much to guard. They feel that tension with the bobber. That's why I really don't like using it, but I, I got to get distance to cast out to where they're at. So that's only negative about this. If I can free spool a guard, rather do that once they grab it, just open the bale. You don't have to worry about them dropping it because they're not going to. We're going to grab some more leader and we'll tie back up. There's a bobber down. High hopes of this one. Let's just not mess it up, play it right. And hopefully this would be our bigger gar for today. This gar is taking so much line, I'm just going to have to set him. I think he just stopped running too. Right, we're going to give him to him and see what happens. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is a big one. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't you come off. Please don't come off. He's running right towards me. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yeah, I'm just going to ramp him up right here. He's coming right towards me. Hopefully he don't jump. But I'm, no, he's already turning on me. He's going to do something that I'm not going to like. There's the drag. Oh no. <sighs> what the f happened? He bent the hook. Bent the hook. Y'all, that was around a four and a half, five foot gar. No. Oh, that's upsetting. That was when we needed. That is upsetting. Just stop bitching about it and get back out there. I tightened my drag pretty tight because of that last small gar. My drag slipped when I set the hook, so I just tightened her up a little bit. That's where the gar down. All right, he's moving. Out of anger, I'm just going to set this one because I'm still a little pissed off. I shouldn't have done that. Well, it's called fishing, not catching. For an idea, probably about every three, four times we come here, six hours a piece each time, you'll normally get one of those big ones in. That honestly might have been the biggest one I've ever set the hook in here. I've seen about a six and a half footer in here. It wasn't that big, but it was big enough to hurt my heart. I don't know what to say. Dragging this video out, but there's there's a lot of big gar hitting on the other side of this dam. And I can get over there, and I think we've done this before, but they're so freaking smart. Once you go up there, they all come over here, but I just got a feeling it could just it could be one cast. One cast for y'all. This is a gar video. I just feel like it's proper to catch a gar over a foot long. So we're going to make the move and see what happens. Right, here we go. We're all packed up. I mean this too, y'all. As hot as it freaking is. Do I want to go do this? No, but I do it for y'all because if I clicked on this video and wanted to see gar, I want y'all to really see the experience of what you can get, how big they are. So freaking pissed off. I missed the one. That I did, being probably the biggest one I've ever probably would have caught in here, but like I said, that's, that's why it's called it's fishing, not catching. Hope I don't bust my ass, man. On the home stretch. Oh shit. All right, we made it. One here, big one just right there, y'all. See we can do. I hope it is a good one too, because the gar, once you catch one in like a certain area. They're all spooked, they're super smart, so last thing I want is for them not to go back on that side. I've tried, I've tried four GoPro batteries today. I just don't know what has happened to the gar. We had them fired up and we freaking lose a giant. 
Oh, I just don't understand. I'm running out of bait. I'm thirsty as shit. They're just not biting anymore. I just don't know. I don't fish on this side very much, so I just, I, I don't really remember why we never come over here, but I think I do. It's just, they just stop biting, but I don't know, y'all. These fish are extremely fun to catch, and there's just, there's giants out there that need to be caught. No one really knows about these fish on, on the lines of like trying to catch them. If, uh, if I can get this video to be clear, I'll literally say, I'll put this in the video, but also I went to the river not probably three days ago. We're reconning spots for y'all. We're trying to find good holes in the river that I could be holding massive guard. Now they're free, then they're hitting right in front of me. I'm literally watching the mouths come up. They're just, they're just smart as shit. That's why it's just, it's worth it to me when you can finally hook into one and it's like a big size. You just gotta you gotta fail at some of these fishing trips to just want to respect this fish a lot more. So yeah, I still like a three and a half foot gar reconning some of these spots. Also, I think we found a hole. So if y'all want to see me go back out there and keep on gar fishing, try to hook an absolute monster like we freaking did today and got off. Don't know how that happened. Only the big ones. If you hook them, they're in. But I don't know. But what I'm trying to say is y'all we're wrapping up this video. Hope y'all enjoyed it like always. I'm gonna put around here for about five more minutes and if something happens y'all will see it if not i didn't catch shit so oh, before i go more updates on the truck um i have separate videos for that coming out but just know we're getting close y'all and it looks freaking good i really appreciate it guys looking bass tv